hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can create the input box so input box is helpful in accepting the text value or numerical value or different types of other values like uh, for example you just want uh, email let's say to be accept in the input box you can specify what kind of input that you want so for now we can simply say that uh, we are looking for uh, text input so first of all let me give it a label and say this is input box and uh, we will see bcc dot input and here we will simply specify some values so first is basically a place folder just to show you the just to show the end user about what you are accepting input your name all right and uh, type is equals to text here we can specify what type of text type we want you can actually explore the documentation uh, which says there are like eight or ten different types of inputs that you can actually accept and let's keep the default value as now all right uh, let's go and execute this and execute this and let's see it here this is an input box and it's saying input your name and if you see um, it is kind of overlapping over here right so what we can do is uh, let me just get it out from here and uh, click on interrupt and what I can do is uh, I can create another html.div tag which will give which will be a separate container altogether so i will just cut this piece over here and uh, within this um, i will say uh, html dot tab all right and list of components which i want i want html dot label this is the input and i'm okay over here and execute this and that's it this is an input box and still if i see there is an issue in doing it but let me first enter some value shape or if i enter any numerical values dates and uh, anything else like dash or type dot b whatever i want it will basically going to take that value so, uh, but the main important point over here is uh, is basically this section about how we can uh, keep it separate. So, for that, let me interrupt this kernel for a moment. So, over here, let me try between two divs. Let me try to create a break. So, HTML dot br and maybe one more html dot br execute this uh, all right comma comma execute this and execute this and let's see it all right now we have two breaks and i can easily enter what i want similarly you can have breaks you can have your own divs and within divs you can actually have a break so what i have seen that uh, when i let's say specify these I'm sorry control C and if I put it between the components it doesn't work if I try to do that control enter all right let me interrupt it control enter, control enter so there should be some space between a slider and a range slider so let's see if it happens yeah it happens so maybe I was wrong I was just maybe using just one slide one break so you in that case you don't need to create this event div so if i remove this and remove this over here and simply execute all right dropped it and execute it execute it the br the break tag of html will going to work fine all right so that's pretty quickly i wanted to talk about how you can use the input box and uh, see it in action so that's pretty much it for this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic